Your story is a testimony of overcoming to all the masses. Hope if you dare. The laws of gravity say that whatever goes up must come down. And those feelings must be validated. You thought you would have died, but you're still here. Lost everything in the fire, but you found everything in the ashes. I'm uh, Rachel Freeman Hicks, and I am the school psychologist here at the high school. Uh, the mural project came to be, uh, so I can't remember how long ago, maybe sometime in February, I got a phone call from the Cincinnati Reds who told us that we had been chosen for a project called Murals with a Mission, and she explained the whole project and asked me if we would be interested um, which we definitely were. And then um, Mrs. Gordon and I, um, to Mrs. Gordon, the other one of the other advisors of Hope Squad, we had a meeting with the Reds and PNC to talk more about it and they kind of explained the project all in full, but that's how it got started. So we were chosen by um, the Cincinnati Reds to do the project this spring. Um, I think the planning of the project went really well. Um, we have a Hope Squad class here this year who meets um, every day during fourth period. So Brent, the artist, was able to come to that class for a couple weeks and really work with them on the concept of the mural. And so I think that really helped. And then he came to one of our full Hope Squad trainings and did some activities with them. and. Um, kind of explained the project to them and got them involved and then we started painting. So it was a lot of days in the gym balcony painting the mural, but overall I think it was very successful. I think that it's important for our kids to be painting the mural because it gives them a sense of ownership and accomplishment and that the mural behind me that's now prominently on the walls of our school was just not a gift that some artist made for us and gave, but that was created and painted and designed by our students. And I just think that's a real testament to the artwork um, and a partnership that we had with them. So our, well, our hope for the mural and our concept um, is was to kind of depict that journey from sadness to hope, but with the support of the people around you, which is really our mission of Hope Squad is to provide hope for the student body and to make sure that everybody knows that there are people here for them, people that they can talk to. Um, and so I hope that it is just a message of hope for our entire student body to know that we are all here, everybody, not just Hope Squad, but that we're all here to support each other. Okay, um, I'm most excited about this uh, because I really just love painting and getting a bell to just relax and paint with a bunch of people that I know is incredibly relaxing and it's just fun to all come together on something as big as this because it's a lot of work and the artist has trusted us a lot with through this process, which is really, really, really cool. I'm most excited that we actually get to help paint the murals. So the stuff you see is all that we have done and we've made. So it'll help bring community together. I am so excited about this project. I think what is really cool is how the students have been so involved. That was something that I didn't expect for them to be a huge part of developing and every step of the way and I think that that's been a really cool process for them. Um, I think that art is a huge uh, therapeutic, has huge therapeutic value and I think that as people work through this it's really been kind of neat to see the process. 
Oh man, I think the mural is just the end result of the Hope Squad, which betters the school. And I think that them being in the mural, I think the narrative that we're telling, the, the, the mural is a narrative story of sadness, empathy, you know, comfort, joy, trust, and hope. And I think that when people see that, you know, when, it, when you give somebody hope, you give them something bigger than themselves. And I think when people walk by that and it resonates with them, it will change somebody's outcome, if that makes sense. Oh, so I'm glad you asked. So this is part of Murals with a Mission. It's powered by PNC Bank and the Cincinnati Reds. So this is my third school. So we started in Princeton and Mason, which were happening almost simultaneously. And the, the goal is for me to go to schools and use art to build relationships. And they don't send me in there to paint. They send me literally to go into a school and get with whatever auxiliary group, whether it be Hope Squad or SIBS, whatever team that a school has that give back to their school, to the community, that's who they pair me with. And it's my job to make them smile. It's my job to use art to build relationships with them. And then it's our job collectively to create something beautiful together. I am convinced, I am persuaded, I am absolutely sure that I'm walking in purpose and that I have discovered exactly where I'm supposed to be. Oh, okay, that's dope. So, so check this out. So I am a artist in residence at the Freedom Center. So it's called Fifth Third Sunday. So every third and fifth Sunday, you can find me at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, downtown Cincinnati. And we're there from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every third and fifth Sunday. So you can find me there where we're doing a lot of artistic, therapeutic engagement activities. You can go to my website, cincyart.com, that's C-I-N-C-Y. Again, I'll say it again because it's loud in the background. C-I-N-C-Y-A-R-T-E.com. You can find me on Instagram under Cincy Arts as well. Facebook, also Cincy Art. So come find me, come paint with us, come, you know, come smile with us because that's what we do. Who are we? Um, Hope Squad is a peer-to-peer -peer suicide prevention group who just offers a friend for everyone. So you're going to see a narrative throughout this piece. So can we unveil first, please, please? Yeah. Where have you been? And Hope Squad has created a um, common voice among Loveland students and created a um, peer-based friendship.
and just helping people. When you help people, you feel better about yourself, and that's what we want to do also. And Brent does a great job with that. So I am going to gladly turn the mic over to the man, the myth, the legend, Brent Billingsley, and say thank you for all you did for our kids. So we went from sadness to empathy to conquering joy to trust to hope. Here we go. I need y'all to get, I need y'all to stand, get crazy. We've got to go viral. So, what is a canvas? No, no, no. What is a canvas? What is a canvas? 